Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Currently on week number 14. Before we embark, I wanted to read some of the journal pages we collected. We have a complete story called The Blackest of Fates. We have all five entries. And essentially it describes a group of adventurers heading into the Warrens, trying to desecrate animal listing shrines. They came across this obsidian uh, artifact, cradling a pulsing red orb. Three of them wanted to leave it alone. Mezir, that was an occultist, was driven by an impulse, thrust a torch into this hidden receptacle. They ended up fighting a hideous monster. And whoever managed to defeat it was using an axe was driven by raids, leapt and drove the axe into the creature's many eyes. Iker splashed as he hacked away. And everybody else, uh, unfortunately, did not make it. So Cuthbert, Bolin, and Mazir died into the Warrens. We don't know the name of uh, whoever wrote it. But hey, they decided to bring back a banner and a crossbow to offer them a burial. They left Mizir to the swine folk, and I can't really blame them for it. So this is the only story we've completed so far. It was an interesting read, honestly. Not voice acted. Could have been. We can embark ourselves. I have no idea what we're gonna do this week. I usually take a look before I start the episode, so I'm, I have an idea about what to expect. Otherwise, I end up wasting way too much time browsing these. So we could go for this uh, Wizen Hag. That's an interesting antiquarian relic. Could also try the Cove here. Can get some extra damage for the Leper. 15% is honestly pretty good. Only works if you're in the first position, though. Let's see, if we were to go after the Hag, which is a boss like the Necromancer, who would we invite? We need to think about this. So realistically, we need heroes that have at least resolve level 1, preferably level 2. Could try the Seal Breaker. I know that pretty much everybody in the wield is somewhat resistant to Blight. At the same time though, we used... Um, we could use the flagellant, but we committed them to treating the rotator cuff. These are level zero. Who else can I get? Wary, Eldred Slayer, Reflexes. Could definitely use Dismas here. Hot to trot. And the Warrior of Light is also very useful. Scouting in the cove. Uh, if we invite her... Can also take... Hold on. Can use her. Misses the spot. Night Owl. These are not necessarily good for the wield. So hold on. If we have uh, the Highwayman, the first position. Yeah, open vein is definitely useful here. Most enemies in the wield are not resistant to bleeding. 
So that looks okay. Open vein, pistol shot. So you can simply enter and then maybe even take a bow again. We can unlock this one. And who else? Could get a Vestal instead. Who could we use in the fourth position, though? Can invite Reynold. Powder Keg is also a decent option. Is this group powerful enough? Or maybe we want someone like Corbon. Bleeding resistance. Can give him a lot of upgrades. You know, that might be interesting. Prestigious Aura. Some tools. We probably need as many buffs as we can for the final fight. Clean guns is probably a good idea here. But honestly, not much else. Coin flip could be good, but it's still a gamble. Yeah, you know what? We can try this group. Let's see who we can upgrade before we head into battle. So I do want fan favorite. And take a bow. You can also do some bleeding. Okay, might as well upgrade these. Not that expensive anyway. So Dismas is pretty much set. Could get the Duelist Advance. This one is upgraded. Dismas is not. The Cracked Mirror. So that is it. In use Dismas here. Point blank shot is very powerful. I think we're going to need the advance so we can move forward. Yeah, this is a group that is going to have a lot of moving back and forth. Problem is, we really cannot attack the back positions. So maybe the powder keg is not the best idea. He synergizes very well with stuns. Which we do not have. Okay, we're gonna be using the grand entrance here. With hot to trot. Who else we can place in the second position? Maybe her. Can use oil urns, firecrackers. Huh.
Okay. One, one, and we need to basically upgrade everything. So position two, we can move back and obviously we can move forward, back one, can use the dart or a thousand cuts. Yeah, I like that. So the scouting trinket is perfectly fine. We don't have anyone with a lot of ranged abilities. So you can have this one. Blight, honestly, no. Dismas can have the extra dodge. She can get the bleed resistance. Even more bleed resistance. Are we going to need that much bleed resistance? I don't remember the hag fight at all. I, I don't think there's any bleeding involved. 10% damage, range skills. I mean, sure. That looks good. So provisions, lots of food, definitely. I'm gonna take three shovels. I don't think we need a lot of anti-venom. Maybe some bandages. Mm. Let's get the herbs. Two key. No, one key. Holy water and torches. For... I think that's fine. I had collected many rare and elusive volumes on ancient herbal properties and was set to enjoy several weeks immersed in comfortable study. My work was interrupted, however, by a singularly striking young woman who insisted on repeated calls to the house. Singularly striking young woman. There is method in the wild corruption here. It bears a form both wretched and malevolent. I wonder what ever became of her. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. Heirlooms. Okay. Glad I brought three shovels. They can't really dodge. Might as well do stress reductions. Executed with impunity. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Yeah, we're gonna seize the momentum, all right. An ancient coffin, slightly ajar. No. We have a mission, we need to kill the hag. No, we're not gonna bother with ancient coffins. Probably a vampire is waiting inside. So that is an abandoned village. Looks like a crate full of corpses. Uh, let's go. I don't think that the hag is going to be at the dead end uh, to the east. Another crate. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. 
paid for in blood. Okay, these are probably my favorite enemies. Really easy to kill. Is anybody stressed? Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Yeah, that was a massive crit. Be gone, fiend. Oh, look. Somewhat worried about the stress, but we can camp. We're gonna be all right. Another one falls. Yeah, speaking of stress, there we go. We're gonna pull her forward, reduce dodge. If I destroy the ectoplasm, it won't be able to act. If I destroy... Uh, let's go for the ectoplasm. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Oh, look at that. take a bow or we can uh... oh you know what I probably shouldn't risk it minus five stress destroyed just the opening act press disadvantage give them no quarter shovel number two could be a mimic I think we're prepared though. Skeleton key. Fifteen percent scouting chance, definitely paying off. Let's pull her forward. Managed to resist, unfortunately. Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken. to dodge this one. Oh, we cannot pull anybody. Well, it's fine. Uh, could take a bow. Wait. Speed of seven. Oh. Decimated. There we go. A 
as the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. We don't have another key. Yeah, we can leave it alone. Whoever dropped it might be looking for it in the future. Uh, so the... Pretty certain the boss is going to be at the end of this very linear path. Oh, can you imagine if we have to backtrack? Okay, glad about this dodge. Carelessness will find no clemency in this place. But we didn't bring one. Let's eat some food. Oh, my favorite. Pungal artillery and giants. We can pull... Should we even pull them? Can reduce stress just a bit. It's becoming a problem. Especially after the trap. Okay, that's good. So much for our grand entrance. Speed of four. Eradicated. Sedated. Do I want to activate the repost? Probably... Yes, Confidence we are marked anyway. The enemy there we go. Let's do it. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. So that was just a room battle. The boss could be down here. Now I'm second guessing myself. Okay, a few pieces of loot. Reward for a task well performed. That is a trampled journal. I'm gonna trade it for the key here. Is in haunting the hearts of men. I've got three of these. Grave digging pays off. Honestly, yeah, I guess that's fine. Uh, increase the light level the light the promise of safety all the light we're gonna get at least for now so what do we have to increase our uh 
combat efficiency. Honestly, these are pretty good. Can clean the guns. Prepare for a lot of... Uh, shooting with the highwayman. Okay, let's do it. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Still 44. Blight bleed, death blow resist. Reduce stress taken. I don't think we care about this one. Okay, increase critical. 8%. We definitely want that. Can get some extra speed. We have a lot of damage now. I could reduce the stress, but only by a little bit. Can also use Entertain to reduce the stress, but that will only apply to the Corsair here. Minus 20% stress taken. Now I guess... Preventing the ambush. A possible ambush. Makes a bit of sense. Highwayman is coping well. Corsair feels strong and powerful. Okay, we march on. Another fight. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna try and pull the madman. Okay, we reduced dodge. Now we have a decent chance. Obliterated. Okay, that was a solid crit. Disembowel. Sure. Take no chances. Annihilated. Maniacal grin. 13 points. I can live with that. Crit buff is paying off. Well, we could slide forward. Yeah. There's a bleeding too. Dodged it. Unfortunate. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. No more stressful incantation for that acolyte. Fitting way to die, too. Uh, let's hope we can survive this. Can, uh, might as well use this, too. Twisted and maniacal. A slathering testament to the powers of corruption. Okay. Can reduce the dodge. Yeah, just a little bit. A decisive pummeling. Crits and dodge. Oh, we can't really do anything here, I think. The Corsair... Uh, she could hit the hag. That's fine. Could move backwards.
Yeah. Immune. Oh, in the pot. Oh, I don't like this. Can we actually destroy it? Yes. Okay, that kind of worked. Hmm. But the highwayman cannot hit. Uh, cannot hit forward. Okay, we can move them. Can move her forward. Forward one. Yeah, that's perfect. points okay yeah we're gonna strike the pot oh what hmm that is not good I was hoping to use a repost, but it's not possible. Are we gonna get a chance to strike the pot? No, I guess not. We get to act last. Uh, that is going to be a problem. He's constantly taking damage. Well struck. We can use the grand entrance. Not gonna do a lot of damage though. Do I want to move forward? Uh, we could move forward, apply the bleed. Kind of like this idea. Oh, we can use a pistol shot. Decent amount of damage. We can enable... I don't need it for another two rounds. Honestly, this looks good. Could try to heal. Or reduce the dodge. But what are the chances of them dodging again? Oh, she chose the one that could still uh, act. Uh, that is unfortunate. A singular strike. Can I finish her off? Eighty-five percent chance. Let's do it. Yes. The is still poisoned. The way is still blocked, but less people will be eaten. An oozing potato for the milkmaid. Is that everything? Okay, another move charm. Let's get rid of those. Quest complete. Well. So now we know what to expect with the hag. This was not the correct lineup. Essentially you need people that 
can do damage from um, from multiple ranks and they can hit both second and third yeah because you're essentially dealing with two enemies that occupy two slots we could go back uh, but then I, will, I threw away all the food. No. Uh, let's get out of here. We have a bit of stress. It's not a lot, though. So 16. 8 deeds. These are going to be very useful. We can no longer use the Lamia unless we go into the Veteran Dungeons. Replace the Eagle Eye. I do like the extra speed. Replace the Warrior of Light. Uh, that's also unfortunate. That was a damage increase. With Hot to Trot and the Grand Entrance. A fresh irritant yeah. to some. A sanguine memory to me. The town is a buzz. So someone descri uh, discovered, excuse me, a crumbling stone entry to a forgotten garden. Perish from innumerable insect stings. Concern rises in the hamlet. So who am I going to commit to treatment? Maybe the Egomaniac? Egomaniac? Yeah, let's go for this one. Don't really care about the Highwayman not being able to gamble. The grip on life is... kind of a problem. out marked by the flock now yeah, she's doing fine do we have any duplicates I don't see any so one more can get rid of fragile Weak Grape can also get rid of Graceless. We do not have another healer. That is gonna be a problem. We might have to use... Wait, Ascetic and Faithless. Yeah, these are okay. The Nervous Bleeding. Oh, Kleptomaniac have to commit her obsessed with killing go phobe okay I don't want any kleptomaniacs in my group cannot really improve that one we need just one more so we can probably wait else here at the blacksmith I'm not gonna spend any more for the furnace because we're gonna need them we're gonna need a lot of gear upgrades any trinkets honestly every single one of them is pretty good the healing is good the chirurgion's charm chirurgion's charm Speed stone. One point of speed. Hmm. Not a lot of money, though. Who needs stress relief? Oh, we can... Hold on. We can filter by stress. No, so nobody. They're doing fine.
Could upgrade the cloister. Oh, something changed. Hey, the building is not as dilapidated anymore. I'm glad to see that. Can increase. Uh, do I want to increase those? I better save as many as I can. We're gonna need 15. Yeah. Insects. Wonderful. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. But I don't think there's anything else to do here. Nothing else transpired. Osmod is ready for uh, veteran dungeons. Just like, uh, who was it? The Vestal? Yeah, the Vestal. Everyone with an ability to heal becomes uh, somewhat of a of a bottleneck. As far as classes are concerned. But we do have the Occultist. I keep forgetting about this one. Realistically, we're gonna grab uh, the Occultist for the next mission. That's the end of the episode, though. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna end the recording, but hopefully I'll see you in the next part.